you really need to sort of think outside the box and say, how else can we do this in a way that's gonna make it better, faster, cheaper? I can't draw with a darn, but I can sure think of things in the, into the future. Identify Sensors is a company that is looking to make sensors for the next generation. We develop these sensors for fruit and vegetables to detect E. coli, for instance, in uh, romaine lettuce and other things like that. COVID struck, and I think a lot of the scientists at the company said, hey, this technology could very quickly be adapted to COVID testing. And that's the excitement about this thing. It's just. It's, there's no end in sight. This technology started at Case Western Reserve University. A lot of scientists right here in Ohio really made, sort of brought it to fruition. And we couldn't have done that without a lot of the resources that are right here. The partnerships that we've been creating between the scientists and the business side has been tremendous. There's so many great minds here. There's great universities, there's great tech transfer, and we're working with Ohio companies on that pathway. We are all driven and have this passion to help as many people as we can. If you got something in your gut, go with it. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to take that turn because it might be very, very rewarding. It's a fundamental piece of scientific progress, having an imagination, and it takes creativity to do that. So I think a lot of people think of technology in terms of numbers and analytics and that sort of thing, but it really takes a lot of creativity to, to, to look at a challenge and find a new way to do it. You have a core idea and then different people build on it, enhance on it, and, and, and advance it to a level where it's gonna make a big difference.